بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آر فائن اینڈ سیف ایٹ یو ہوم ویلکم ٹو دا کمپیوٹر کلاس آف گریڈ تھری آئی ایم یور ٹیچر فضل اکرام سے اینڈ ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی ول بی لرننگ یونٹ نمبر ایٹ انجوائے وتھ ٹکس پینٹ سو لیٹس موو آن فار دا لرننگ آؤٹ کمس فار ٹوڈے Yes, you will be learning today about the tux paint main screen. We will be discussing the undo command. We will also discuss about the safe pictures you have already made before and how you can open them. And in the tux paint components, the parts of the window of tux paint, we will be discussing the help area. the drawing canvas area and the text box so let's move to the today's work so today's work is a book work my dear students from your unit number 8 tux paint from your book page number 103 objective type questions remember my children this is a book work and that's number one question fill in the blanks with the correct words so let's move to the first blank for today now you can see this is the first blank with us the part a blank here the dash canvas is present at the center of the main screen the question bank is here with you the options here are bottom drawing open text or undo but before you give your answer we just have to go and have a look at the tux paint window with us so let's go back and check that one yes here you can see this is a tux paint window and this white area in the center where you can draw your drawings even you can type and put your pictures this is the center one it is called the drawing canvas so when you have a look at it yes you can mark your answer that's correct the drawing canvas is present at the center of the main screen now we move on for the next part Here we have B part question. The dash tool is used to load the already saved pictures. So which tool you people will be using to open the already saved pictures? For that purpose, we need to go to the tux paint window. So let's open tux paint. Now you can see this is a tux paint window with me. and in the tool bar here different buttons there are different tools are available i have to go for this open one a file a picture which i have already made i click on it and you can see the options here so this pictures i have made before i select this and i click on the open button a drawing i have made before i can open this way so here we have this b part with us so here we have this b part option yes you are correct the open tool is used to load the already saved pictures as we have discussed in the tux paint window now we have part c blank the help area is present at the dash of the tux paint so where is the help area located for that purpose again we need to check out yes here we have this window of our tux paint you can see the, at the bottom side of your 
box where the penguin is there, it gives you the information whichever tool you are selecting. This is the help area. So we can go on for the answer of our part C. Yes, it will be the help area is present at the bottom of the duck screen screen. Now we have here part D blank. The dash tool is used to type text and numbers in the drawing area. For that purpose, we have to go to the tux paint window. Let's see that which tool allows you to type text and numbers. Now you can see this is a tux paint window. And to check out these are this is the toolbar and in the toolbars here you can see the a b c letter is written next which is the text option when i click on it you can see different font styles are here from the selected area i can select the choice of my text how i want to place my text and even the color i can select from here i take a brown color and if I write over here, you can see I'm writing the text grade and then three. I have added the alphabets and the numbers as well. So now you know that using the text tool, you can type letters and numbers in your tux paint. So now here we have are D blank and the answer as we have seen in the tux paint window. Yes, the text tool is used to type text and numbers in the drawing area. Now we move on for the last blank for today. The part D blank is the dash command will cancel the last drawing action. So which command will cancel your drawing action? For that purpose, we will be going to the tux paint window. Now you can see this is a tux paint window here with me. I select from the tools window the lines and the shape if I select a star and I put the color red, you can see if I add it over here, once I'm pasting it over here, this undo button in the toolbar is enabled. When I select this one, this last star I have added has been removed. But once it is removed, the redo button is able as well. Redo, if I go for, it will reverse the action of my undo command. I select on this, see, I got my star back. This way, you can use the undo and redo option in the duck paint. Yes, now here we have the last blank today and the answer as we discussed in the tux paint the, to cancel the last action drawing. Yes, the undo command we can use. With that one, we have finished today's work and have a look at the answer key for today's work. For your five of the blank we have done today. Remember my children, this is a book work. Before we end the lesson, Let's quickly summarize that we have discussed the tux paint main screen. We have discussed the undo command. We have discussed that how you can open the files which you have made earlier in tux paint and the tux paint components, help area, drawing canvas area, and the text box. And before we end the class for today, don't forget. Yes, it's your Google Classroom quiz time. You need to finish your Google Classroom quiz. Open your Google Classroom and attempt the questions over there. Remember the questions over there are related to the things we have discussed today. And don't forget to explore new things in Tux Paint. Hope to see you inshallah in the next class. Keep practicing new things in Tux Paint. And don't forget to share it with me. Even you can attach your work in Google Classroom. That's all for today. Allah Hafiz children. Thank you.